Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Morgan with the Running Network here in Boston. Marathon weekend, and we're Saturday morning, and we're getting ready for the BAA 5K with lots of elite runners and lots of citizens running a 10,000-person race this morning. We're right here at the start, as you see. Everybody's here in Boston Commons. Lots of excitement going on this morning, and uh, we're looking for some fast times. Molly Huddle is returning. Uh, she ran a 15-12 here was an American record at the time. So anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun and a good time and a beautiful morning here in Boston. And uh, let's get a quick look at the park with all the runners who are out here in the park getting ready just before the BAA 5K. And all four wheelchairs as competition gets underway at Boston Marathon Weekend. Good luck to one and all. Three minutes then to the start of the foot race division of the BAA 5K. And we are away. The BAA 5K underway for 2015, the seventh edition. Go get them, guys. Have fun. Run fast. We'll see you shortly. It won't take the pros long, that's for sure. We hope you guys have a great day out there. For the spectators, uh, you guys get underway running as our second corral makes its way onto Charles Street. For all the spectators, we will have updates from the lead vehicle and we will report to you on how the race is progressing. Once again, our two-time men's champion from 2011 and 2012 and last year's runner-up by just a hair's breath, Ben True, a Maine native now out, now out of Hanover, New Hampshire, is on the line. Steven Sambu from Kenya, the 2013 and 2014 BA Distance Medley Champion, who was third in this race last year by one second, is in the race. Lawi Malang, a four-time individual NCAA champion at University of Arizona. Champion of the day. Tony, Tony, we actually got reports on the mile two for the men, 834. They went through eight. Division. Our winner comes from Parker, Colorado. 
For time today, 15 minutes, 36 seconds, let's welcome our women's wheelchair champion, Donna Callahan. Donna's also going to run the marathon on Monday. Looking for another trophy. Way to go, Donna. Our men's uh, wheelchair champion is uh, is not with us here at the stage, but we certainly want to make an acknowledgement of his win. His time, 13.53, from here in Boston, Massachusetts. It's Jason Fowler. So congratulations, Jason. Okay, in the foot race division, uh, we begin on our women's side with the third place finisher. She's from Ethiopia. Her time, 14 minutes and 52 seconds. Just so you know, uh, last year the record was tied at 15 minutes and 12 seconds, but this year they redesigned the course, and as we all can see, I hope you guys did as well, it was a very fast course on a very fast day. So third place is 14.52, and it's by uh, last year's runner-up and the 2014 BAA and Half Marathon champion, Mamito Daska from Ethiopia. Congratulations to Mamito Daska. Second place in the race, also from Ethiopia. Oh! She was third last year, so these two women flipped positions from last year. Her time this year, 14:51. Second place to Sentayu Ejigu. Oh! Nice job, Sentayu. And our champion. She's on a roll here at the BA 5K. She won the race last year, tying the course record at 15 minutes and 12 seconds. This year, she broke not only the course record, she broke the American record on the roads, which has stood since 2002 when the great Dina Castor ran 14.54 at the Carlsbad 5000. Now this young lady holds the American records both on the 5,000 meter track and 5K on the roads. BA 5K champion 2015, Molly Huddle. Congratulations, you know, you won the uh, Jacksonville 15K, so you're coming off uh, an excellent performance, but this is a strength part of the season as you build up toward the, the national championships on the track in the outdoor season. Tell me, did you expect to run an American record out there today? I, it was in the very back of my mind because I knew the course had changed to be a lot faster, and um, I just had to see mile by mile how I felt today, but um, the pace was hot, and I knew through the mile and the two mile, I was actually on, on pace, even though I was back in sixth or seventh place. And um, when I saw how close I was getting to it, it kind of gave me a second wind, and I just kind of um, went for it with a mile to go. So. Awesome. You know, also, you told us yesterday during the press conference that you were like fourth place last year with a mile to go, and you didn't think you'd be able to use that surprise tactic and come from behind, but it seems like you did it again this year. Yeah, this year was very similar to last year. I, I didn't take the lead until probably 150 meters to go, and um, I just, I knew kind of what how hard I could handle going out, and I just listened to my body and um, took advantage of the pace and tried to kick as hard as I could with uh, when I saw the finish line. So. <laughs> A pretty eloquent body, I would say. She listened rather well. Congratulations, Molly. The best of luck the rest of the year. Now we move on to the men's competition. Uh, this young man was runner-up at the 2012 BA Half Marathon, second place at the 2014 BA Distance Medley. For those of you who don't know, the BA 5K, 10K, the Half Marathon, the Marathon, all are associated into a distance medley. And the top performer in all those events uh, gets a big award at the end of the year. And this young man was uh, runner-up in that in the 2014 edition. Fourth last weekend at the Cherry, Boss Cherry Blossom 10-miler down in Washington, D.C., Third here today at the uh, BA 5K from Kenya, 1327, Daniel Solel. Congratulations, Daniel. 
still feeling somewhat chilled with your top hat on, I can see. Anyway, second place in the race. Uh, he's uh, well known to the, uh, the followers of the sport, and especially here in Boston. He was the 2013 and 2014 Boston uh, BAA Distance Medley Champion. Third in this race last year, but he won the 10K and the half marathon last year. Today, his time, 13.23. He had been training with our champion in uh, Hanover, where another guy had been. Now he's out in Tucson, Arizona. Second place from Kenya, Stephen Sambu in 13.23. Stephen, off to another Boston uh, distance medley start here at the VA 5K. And our, our champion, this is his third title at the VA 5K. He was second last year uh, to Jijen Gebro Meskel, who'll be running in a mile later on. Uh, this man uh, tied the course record in second place last year at 1326. We had this glorious day. They changed the course, took out two 90-degree turns, and voila. <laughs> we not only have a new course record of 1322, but by two seconds, a new men's American record, taking down Mark Davis's time from Carlsbad in 1996 for our champion from Hanover, New Hampshire, Maine native Ben True. <laughs> Ben, congratulations, as you say, a very good day for Saucony, as you and Molly um, both uh, run for Saucony. But um, once again, the, it takes a lot of uh, factors to create record times. You need the course, you need the day, you need the competition, you got all three today, and you need the fitness of the champion. Did you expect to run this fast, or did you just have to? Uh, well, hey, everybody, thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> No, today was great. Um, it was fantastic running along the course and uh, hearing my name on every step of the way. And uh, I actually felt bad for Sam Boos because all I could hear was my name being cheered. And so it was a whole crowd that uh, helped elevate me to be able to run fast. So thank you all.